years ago, I received an email asking if I wanted to volunteer at a local engineering fix-it clinic. If you're not aware, fix-it clinics are events where people bring in damaged and broken items and have volunteers and other people who are at the fix-it clinic help them repair them. I, at that time, was someone who was really interested in engineering and technology, so I decided to take up this opportunity and sign up to volunteer. That Saturday, I showed up and had a great time volunteering. The event was a success, and we had many people bring in their items. However, there was one thing that really stood out to me as a volunteer, and that was that I was the only female volunteer there. At this time, this was a bit off-putting for me, as, as a woman in tech, I've often found myself as one of the only women to be at many of the tech events that I've gone to. And at this, at this time also made me question whether I should even be at this event and whether I was doing something that other girls and women, that girls and women should be doing as a whole. However, this experience is not unique to me. Women are severely underrepresented in the tech industry. According to a study conducted by anirabi.org, women make up only around 30% of the tech industry. Additionally, the study found that at tech companies, women only make up around 24% of tech executives. And they also only make up around 3% of tech CEOs. This is quite astonishing, but also just reflects how little representation we have for women in tech. With that said though, there have been community initiatives that we have been taking to increase representation for women in tech. As a community, we have worked on implementing programs, scholarship opportunities, and other curated opportunities for to get more girls involved. However, even with that, all we have seen is a very small increase in women tech representation. Between 2018 and 2020, we, felt we saw a 3% increase. And at that rate, it will take us many, many years to reach equal representation. We need to speed this up. We need to reach equal representation faster. Then only will young girls feel like they are represented, and then only will they feel encouraged to pursue a career in tech. Increasing female representation in technology is not just about empowering young girls, though. Increasing female representation in the industry benefits everyone. Having increased representation and diversity in the industry supports industry growth and performance. As a McKinsey study found, that companies that had a higher female representation in tech had higher performance in terms of financial value and also in terms of their ability to create value. This is because men and women think differently, and women are able to bring unique perspectives to the table. This variety of perspectives that we get when we bring women to the table is what allows for better innovation, and better innovation is what allows for companies to better serve their clients and their audience by creating better products and services. Additionally, the tech industry is booming. Technology is integrated into almost every part of our lives, and with women making up around 50% of the population, we need their support. So what is stopping women from joining the tech industry? Why do we face such a clear lack of representation? Well, simply put, many girls don't view a career in technology as a viable option for them. When they think of a career as a computer scientist or maybe a data scientist, they think of these roles as being male-dominated. They don't have female role models in the industry who they can look up to and who make them feel seen and represented. Consequently, they feel less encouraged to pursue their interests in the industry. And computer science is hard. Pursuing a career in tech is hard. And when someone feels less encouraged to continue persisting past the struggles they face in their classes or when they're just trying to learn about technology, they are more inclined to consider switching careers or not even considering a career in tech. Representation matters. If she can see it, she can be it. If young girls can see women in tech role models, and they will feel inspired and they will feel motivated to pursue their own ambitions and aspirations in technology. More girls will feel like they belong in the industry. They'll see that there is a spot for them. However, given the underrepresentation of women in tech, there is also an underrepresentation of women in tech role models. We're stuck in a loop of underrepresentation. So how can we break this loop? 
how can we make women tech role models more accessible? I believe the key is in social media content creation. Social media platforms like Instagram and YouTube are all commonly used for sharing fun and engaging videos and pictures, staying in touch with friends, and spreading information. However, these platforms have so much more potential that goes beyond just sharing fun and engaging content. I was lucky to discover this during the pandemic when I began using social media a lot more. During this time, I came across women tech influencers and content creators who were using their platform to speak up, share their experiences, and unify the community of women in tech. I found a data scientist at Google who was using her platform to help women break into the industry and negotiate their salaries. I found an engineer who was using her platform to promote engineering DIY projects and promote STEM education from a young age. I found a VR entrepreneur who was using her platform to show women that they can and will do anything that they are capable, that they want to put their mind to. They are capable of anything that they want to do. The influence of these women on social media inspired me at this time to get more involved in technology myself. I began teaching myself about artificial intelligence and creating personal projects and conducting research. Clearly, social media is very powerful, and given the number of people who use it on a regular basis, it can be used as a platform to increase women in tech representation. It can be used for young girls to find women in tech role models. Moving into the future, I propose that we expand the way that we are currently using social media to use it as a platform for women to empower women in tech. Access to social media platforms is completely free, and these platforms are also relatively easy to use and adapt to. Social media also provides flexibility with the types of content that content creators put out. They can choose to put out very professionally edited content that gives off a very professional appearance, and they can also choose to put out very raw content that shows off a very personal and authentic look. Essentially, they can be both professional and very authentic and true to themselves on the platform. Existing women tech influencers also often host Q&A sessions where they're able to directly engage with their audience and directly answer questions from young girls who may be interested in tech and also give them advice for their future careers. There are already women in tech who are using social media and as, as a platform to share resources on entering the industry, tips for negotiating salaries, their industry knowledge, and so, and so much more. However, we need more women in tech to step up and show young girls that there are people out there who embody their visions and their goals for the future. Creating content and growing your reach as a content creator is not easy, but when mastered, it is incredibly impactful for the future generation. As a community, let's take the steps required to harness the power of social media to make women in tech role models more accessible and increase female representation in the industry. Thank you.